Hello children, I'm happy to come your way once again. Today we are going to talk about geometry and measurement. And then we'll focus mainly on position, that is transformation and uh, the number line. By the end of the lesson, you should be able to draw a number line with equal intervals on the number line. In our lesson for today, we will meet our new keyword, which is intervals. Intervals. And an interval is the distance between two points. This is the distance between two points. For example, point A and point B. We are looking at the distance from a to B, that is the interval. Good. Children, in class two, you learned about line segments. Let's go back to consolidate our knowledge on line segments. What did we say line segments are? Good. We said line segments are points or the distance between points on a line and before you draw a line you need a point so a line begins with a point so this is our line. Now let's indicate our segment on the line. We have point A, then this point, point B. Now the segment can be found on the line. So you can have our tick mark as our first tick mark as C. We can also have another tick mark as D. And then we can have a closer one to D as E. These are segments on a line, irrespective of their distances or the distances between the points, that is point A and C. You can see the distance between point A and C and the distance between point C and D. They are not equal. So segments can be of different intervals on a line. Children, we are going to learn how to draw li number lines First of all, I have a ruler, which is a board ruler. So my measurement will be different from yours. I want you to use a measurement of 15 centimeters. Look on your ruler. Where you see CM, just look out for 15 centimeters and draw your line. So you start from 0 to 15. I am going to use a measurement of 75 centimeters. Then we can put an arrow. This tells us that, the arrow tells us that the number line can extend from one point to another. It has no limit. Now, we have our line. In drawing a number line, you need an interval for your tick marks. The interval must be the same across. 
So on my number line, I am going to have a measure or a measurement of an interval of 10 centimeters to indicate my tape marks. So from 0 to 10, then I'll have a point on my number line. Then I go to the next one, I place the zero end of it on the point I made. Then I indicate another point. So I have two points now. So I continue like that with my 10 centimeters on the line. So I have my point on the line. So I have my first mark here. So the next one, I am going to represent it with another mark. Then on and on and on. So this is what we have now. Now we are going to represent each tick mark with a number. So represent the first tick mark with a zero. A zero. Next one, you have one. Next one, what do you think? Two. Then the next, three. Four. Five, six. So now we have our numbers being represented on our number line. Okay, now we have been able to draw our number line and represent our numbers. Like we said earlier, these arrows indicate that our number line can be extended either to the left or to the right. Let's extend our number line to the left and see what comes up. And don't forget, that the interval I used was 10 centimeters on my groove. So use the same centimeter interval you are using over there. So I continue with my 10 centimeters. Very good. So each point will, will draw our tick mark. Very good. So now we are going to represent numbers on this side of the number line. And don't forget that we said earlier in class three, first thing, that the numbers that come before the zero are represented with negatives. So you have negative one, negative two, negative three, then negative 
4, it continues. Let's note that the distance between two numbers are the same. And how can we determine that? We can use the ruler to determine that. Or we can use an object to determine it. So let's determine the distance between 0 and 2. So we can see that we can use this rod to show the, dis the distance between 0 and 2. And then also, between 2 and 4. And then, 4 and 6. So the distance between 0 and 2 is the same as the distance between 2 and 4, as well as the distance between 4 and 6. When we come to the negatives, the distance between 0 and 2 is the same as the distance between negative 2 and negative 4. I hope you got it. So let's pick another object. This is the normal ruler. We can also use the ruler to determine the distance between 1 and 4 to be the same as the distance between 1 and negative 2. Let's use the length of a marker. The distance between 0 and 1 is the same as the distance between 2 and 3 using the length of the marker. The distance between negative 4 is the same, the distance between negative 4 and negative 3 is the same as the distance between negative 2 and negative 1. Children, continue to draw number lines and make sure that whenever you are drawing a number line, you need your ruler and make sure that your intervals or the intervals between the numbers remain the same. If you use 5 centimeters, it should run true. If you use 1 centimeter, it should run true. Now, we've come to the end of our lesson. I'll see you again. Stay blessed. Bye-bye.